I only discovered it at the end of February. I cannot, it's so good, it's so, 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 so good. everybody welcome to the vegan sexy cool channel i am jackie reed and i'm your guide on how to eat good look good feel good and do good all while being vegan today's video is how you can get in on my 12 months to vegan challenge for the month of march now if you are new to this channel or new to the challenge that was hard to say <laughs> if you're new to this channel or new to the challenge let me tell you a little bit about how it works this challenge, I believe, you tell me, is one of the easiest ways to transition to a vegan eating lifestyle because instead of doing what I did when I became vegan for four plus years ago, and that was I just gave up everything and just jumped right into it, right? This month by month, step by step, you get to dip your toe into what it's like to eat vegan. For example, for the month of January, all we did was butter, right? You switched out your dairy butter for vegan butter. For the month of February, it was ice cream, milk, and yogurt. So if those things were in your fridge, you would switch out the dairy versions for vegan versions and so on and so forth. Now, I'm going to link a prior video down below so you can check out all the details of how it works and it'll break down month by month how this works. But don't worry, if you're just getting started, welcome, it's not too late. Get in where you fit in, right? Okay, so for the month of March, we are focusing on breads, that's with an S on the end, all breads and desserts. Now you might be thinking, what is vegan or not vegan about bread? Especially if you're buying it from the grocery store, right? Or eating it out at a restaurant or even making it at home. A lot of times breads are made with milk, with eggs, sometimes with honey. And if it's processed, right? If it's in the grocery store sitting on the shelf for a long time, they want it to last for a while. So there's some other ingredients that come from animals. You want to make sure that you do not eat those breads that use any type of animal products, milk, honey, eggs, or other things, read the labels, right? You want to read the labels and make sure, or if you're making bread at home, you can eliminate those things. So let's talk about what's in the grocery store. A lot of times if you're buying breads from the grocery stores, your sourdoughs, your pita breads, um, sometimes English muffins too, uh, Ezekiel breads are usually vegan. I don't want to say all Ezekiel bread, pretty certain about that one, but just if you're buying it from the grocery store, read the labels. Don't take my word for it. If you are buying breads from the grocery stores, check the labels. If you're buying from a bakery, just ask what breads are vegan. And I'm sure there are some breads in your local bakery or your favorite bakery that are made without any milk, eggs, honey, and those things that would make it not vegan. So if you're going out to a restaurant, best bet is to just have a conversation with the waiter about the ingredients that's in the bread. I mean, listen, no one loves a bread basket more than me, but a lot of times, you know, there's milk, there's egg, there's honey, there's all kinds of things in there that are gonna take it off the, you know, take it out of the vegan category. So you wanna have that conversation with the waiter. And the great thing about when you go to a restaurant is they know what they're putting in there. You know what I mean? Not like when you go to a grocery store, you can't expect for, you know, people working at the grocery store to know about all the items and ingredients and the different items that are in the grocery stores, which is why it's great that they have labels. They don't have labels at restaurants. They do tell you some of the ingredients, but not all. So it's good to just have a nice conversation before you dive into that bread so you can stick to the challenge uh, for this month. And then the best bet of all is to make your bread at home. <laughs> I don't eat enough bread to bake it at home, but when I do make bread, I make the most delicious cornbread that will remind you of the Jiffy cornbread that is on so many soul food tables at holidays, on Sundays, for dinner, you know, just, we love Jiffy Cornbread. I don't know about y'all, I love Jiffy Cornbread. And this cornbread, I love so much. It is not my recipe, but I'm gonna link it 
um, and give that person credit who created this recipe. It's so delicious. I switch out the sugar in it with monk fruit sweetener, which is healthier than regular sugar. And then I also cut, I think it calls for like a cup of sugar. It's a lot of sugar. It's really sweet. I cut that in half and just use monk fruit sweetener, but that's just the way that I like it. You can play around with it for yourself and see what you like, but I will link that recipe down below so you can give that a try. If you love cornbread as much as I do, I mean, come on, it goes with so many things. Oh, I love cornbread. I love a good cornbread. And I do like for it to have a little sweetness sometimes. Sometimes I don't, you know, I don't like it sweet at all, but this cornbread is delicious. So I'm going to link it down below for you. Okay. Let's talk desserts. I know this is a tough one for so many of you, but this is going to be easier than you think. So if you took part in the challenge last month where ice cream was one of the items where we switched out, how easy was it to find vegan ice cream? There's so many options out there, right? Right. I'm not a big dessert person, but I do like some desserts. And there are so many great vegan options for your favorite desserts, whether it's apple pie, pumpkin pie, pound cake, which I've had, the apple pie I've had, all kinds of cookies, oatmeal raisin, chocolate chip, um, you know, brownies, one of my favorite brownies that's vegan. I'll tell you about that and link it for you. I die for it, it is so good. There's this ice cream sandwich, speaking of desserts, and I know we did ice cream last month, but I couldn't leave it out because I only discovered it at the end of February. I cannot, it's so good, it's so, 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 so good. Um, so I'm gonna, it, you know, it's this vanilla bean ice cream, you know, sandwich, you know, chocolate on the outside, vanilla on the inside, it is delicious. Um, and it comes in a little tiny package. Um, so you don't feel like you're really cheating or overindulging when you have this. Uh, and I love it so much. It's, it's, it's a perfect for a little cheat day or when you want a little treat without going too far. Um, and it's from this company called So Delicious. But like I said, um, desserts are easier. I know I wasn't supposed to talk about this. I wanted to tell you the, my, my choices at the end, but so, so delicious is the, is the ice cream sandwich. But anyway, desserts are easy. Like I said, when you go to the grocery store, I wouldn't even bother with labels, I would look for the word vegan. If you're buying your desserts from the grocery store, look for the vegan options. It just makes life easier uh, because nine times out of 10, the regular desserts uh, that are frozen on the shelf, cookies, things like that are not vegan. Um, so you wanna look for something that has the word vegan on it and you'll be good to go. Or, or, you can make your own, which is always the easiest way to go. And there are so many great vegan dessert recipes and options out there. It's crazy. There are whole books on vegan desserts. And I have to tell you, the chefs out there that create these books, you know, these recipes, they are masterful. They are culinary artists when it comes to either making a food item particularly dessert tastes just like something that you know and love, like a pound cake, or creating something just new and fantastic. Uh, they're just so gifted. So there's so many great options. You will not feel look, like you are missing out. And the best part of this challenge is while you're, while you're trying these desserts or the breads this month that are vegan, you can eat everything else that's not vegan that, that you like. So you won't feel deprived you know, while you're doing this and you're finding out things that you like, vegan items that you actually like. So Grayston is the um, company that makes the brownie that I love so much. It's a fudge brownie. I discovered it in the checkout line in Whole Foods. It's a, such a dangerous place, those checkout lines, because there's so many great things for you to grab on, on your way out. They get me every time. That's where I discovered this brownie and I'm so glad that I did. Grayston has such a great assortment of vegan items and vegan brownies. I don't know them all, but I will link, uh, I will uh, put a link to the company uh, down below so you can go and shop and look at those vegan items. Trust me, mind blowing. So delicious. Like the ice cream sandwich. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's so perfect that they call it so delicious. I mean, it's one of my favorite things. I can't stop talking about it, obviously. And special shout out to my girl, Pinky Cole uh, from Slutty Vegan, who has a delicious bread pudding on the menu. She has other desserts too, which I have not tasted because again, I'm not a big dessert person, but I do love bread pudding. This bread pudding is mwah, magnificent. Um, so hopefully, you know, it's on, on the menu at every Slutty Vegan, but hopefully, you know, she's doing so many great things. It'll probably, probably be in a store near you very soon but i had to give her that shout out because that bread pudding is oh i'm sorry i'm saying bread pudding but it's banana pudding it's banana pudding it's banana pudding which i love and it is so delicious the banana pudding that she has at slutty vegan so shout out to pinky cole there who is doing so many amazing things and that is it for this video for the 12 months to vegan challenge for march it is just that easy right we're talking breads we're talking desserts and that's it because of how this challenge works, you can eat everything else you want to eat aside that is not vegan, aside from your breads and your desserts. Give it a try. Let me know if you like it. If you're going to participate, leave me a comment um, and let me know because I really want to hear from you on this one. And that does it for this video, you guys. If you like what you saw here and found the information useful, please give me a like, subscribe, tell a friend, leave a comment, tell me if you're going to take part in this challenge. I really want to know. Also, do me a favor, follow me on social media at Vegan Sexy Cool. Also, you can follow me at Jackie Reed and go to Facebook, follow me there on both of those, uh, yeah, at both of those places at Jackie Reed at Vegan Sexy Cool. But also, I have a Facebook group the 12 months to vegan challenge squad that you should definitely join it's a private group we not only talk about this challenge but we talk about other aspects there are new vegans you know people that are vegan curious longtime vegans in there giving advice exchanging recipes having great conversation so be sure and go to the facebook group all right well that is it for this video thank you again for watching and until next time everybody bye